Somebody has to go on the channel. Not letting this go. Not letting the government go. Not the landowner. Not the camp operator. December 16th, 2022. The day Tan Yi In's life changed forever. What started as a fun camping trip ended with the death of her and her husband's only child, Zek Lo. The six-year-old was one of 13 children who perished in a landslide at a campsite in Patankali, Selangor. This is the center of our universe. So, if it's departure, our life pretty much crumbled. One year on, Tan and her husband, Lo Teng Shui, are still consumed by grief. Their home in Pataling Jaya has become a shrine for the boy. Pictures of Zek adorn every wall and counter space at the family's home. We miss him every day. We went out for breakfast before you came. We saw a couple of boys in the cafe. You know, saying this one looks like him. That one was pointing to another one. You know, that one looks like him more. We think about him all the time. In the aftermath of the tragedy which killed 31 people and injured 61 others, the authorities launched an investigation. On October 17th, the forensics report by the National Disaster Management Agency stated that rainfall triggered the landslide. It also found no evidence that human activities played a role in the tragedy. Tan and Lo are not satisfied with the findings, which they say does not hold anyone accountable. The couple are not the only ones who feel this way. Loy Jia Wen believes the report lacks transparency. Lo says the victims deserve justice. Moving on is difficult for the survivors. Leong Kim Meng has been living with the trauma of what happened at 2 a.m. on the night of December 16, 2022. Yes, at the moment when we hear a loud sound also, we will become very, uh, the heartbeat become faster. Well, after the incident, if you were those that experienced the same thing, come down, come all together and discuss it. We, f it, we feel that it helped. One year may have passed since the tragedy, but it has left the victims and the loved ones of those who passed with scars that will never heal. Natasha Bust and Tan Chintong, FMT News.